Hi guys, I'm Leslie, and today I wanted to try acrylic pouring for the first time. So I have a bunch of stuff here to try. I've never done acrylic pouring before. I have no clue how it's gonna go. Let's give it a shot. First, I wanna show you what I have for supplies. Don't know if I have everything I need. Oh, paint would be good. All right, we're back. Okay, so this is what I have today. I haven't checked out anything yet because I wanted to do it all with you guys. Get yourself some drop cloth. It makes the best table coverings for any project and who cares if it gets messy. I have this, a cool, these are called pouring cups, I think. I got blue because it's my favorite color. Okay. Okay. I think they're the exact same cup. I grabbed an old cookie thing that's all beat up. So I was thinking for the paint to run off. I grabbed some of these too. These are supposed to make cool designs. I have no clue. This looks like a strainer for a sink. Oh, another strainer for a sink. Oh, a fancy flower strainer. All right. Um, I have no clue. What else? Grab some pouring medium. I don't know. Don't know if I need it. And then I got this. Um, kit on Amazon. If it's cool, I will link the kit below on what I got. And these things, whatever they're called. Um, let's see what's in here. All right. Ooh, gloves. I might want gloves. Straws. I mean, to blow the paint around. That's what I would use them for. Some, what are these called? I want to say beaker. That's not what these things are called. They'll come to me. These things. To squeeze things. All right. Squeeze thingies. Comb. I did brush my hair. Always good for some good sound quality. Okay, that thing, foam thing. Oh, some little scraper tools. Um, oh, this kit also came with this. Oh, it's the same as this pink one. Pink and yellow. Okay. Some balloons. Stir, stir sticks, I think, is what they're probably used for. Paint brushes. Okay, not too bad. They're soft. They, um, the little hairs don't come out. The bristles, I guess. Oh, more. Some more balloons. Gonna have a party up in here. And chain. Um, okay. Okay, so we need to get fancy. Okay, chains. And that's it. Okay. What else? Okay, I got all this stuff. Cool supplies. I'm just gonna stick it over to the side because I have no clue what I'm doing here. Let's see what else, what else do I have? I also, I grabbed these. This is like a kid's set. I just grabbed them and just see what they could do, okay? I don't need that. Okay, don't need that. Oh, okay, awesome. I was afraid that these things, look at it's a little fairy door, so cute. I was afraid that these things were gonna be flat, but look, it looks like it has, it has some shape to it so it can stand. That's what I was hoping for. I saw in another YouTube video, uh, Nerdy Crafter was doing some acrylic pours over bears. Um, I didn't see any bears out there, and but I wanted to do, I love everything mystical and fairy whatnot. So I decided to get this, but this is, this is like made for painting. It's a, uh, what is this stuff called? What is this stuff called? Plaster. Plaster. Okay. All right. Oh, I feel like you've seen a little bit better days, fairy. She's kind of got a beard. A fairy with a beard. Can you see that? 
a fairy with a beard. Mm. Oh, a cute little unicorn. He's cute. Does he have a beard? Mm. That's all right. Oh, and a little unicorn head. Okay. And another rainbow star cloud thing. So I thought um, I could try to do these. Might Maybe they're too small to look cool, but I thought I could do some acrylic pours over those. All right. Let's get that out of the way. I also, um, these things are great. I got these little cups. You can get a zillion of them on Amazon for not much. So I wanted to make some colors in here first. What do we need to do? Stir well. Make equal amounts of pouring medium and paint together in the container, stirring gently until com completely mixed. Pour multiple colors onto surface. Swirl to distribute colors or pour multiple colors into a cup and then pour onto surface. Till the surface to allow the paints to flow and create unique pattern. Allow to dry overnight and apply sealer. Clean while wet with soap and water. All right. So I'm going to mix some colors and then we'll get started. What do I do? What if I just, it's not mixed yet. Okay. We'll just set that aside for now. All right, I've got my paints all, my pouring mediums and acrylic paints all mixed together. So now I'm like, what do I need? What am I going to pour over? I got a tin and my uh, cookie tray. I have no clue. I was just thinking maybe this would be easier. I don't know. All right, what do I want to start with first? I'm going to start. Oh, it's echoing. Hello. Hello. Echo, echo, echo. Okay, this, okay, I'm, too, I'm excited, I'm nervous, okay, I'm gonna say okay a lot. Okay. I probably made not enough, but I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna go blue, I don't know what's too much, sorry, give me echo. <laughs> I don't know what's enough, too little or too much. Purple, white, five colors. All right, let's just go. Let's start with this unicorn guy and let's see what happens. I did wear gloves, but I never wear gloves. All right, I'm so nervous and I'm so excited. Okay, so I I think I need to start at the bottom because when I saw, I saw some videos and that's what they did, but this is a little piece, so I might not need to. Or like the little crook of the neck. I should have sanded this guy first. Oh, well. Let's just go. If I squeeze, it's all gonna <sighs> take a deep breath, guys. Oh, the purple's coming out first, though. Is just this gonna happen? Oh, no, no. I would just, it's not coming out. All right. Okay, I kind of, I feel like I need to go over here before I can. Oh, is that, that's too much? Okay, we're just gonna go. What about his underneath of his little face here? We're going to do this. It's kind of cool. I'm, I'm afraid. Oh, but then now he's just going to be, I can't touch him. Um, It's, oh, that's really pretty underneath there. I feel like I need to put a canvas underneath just to catch the paint. Okay. Oh, he's cool. Look at him. Look, guys. Can you see? He's really neat. Unicorn socks. Oh, bloppy. Bloppy. Let's see. What do I... What if I blow on him? Oh, that didn't do. Ew. No, don't do that. There's little gloppy gloss I need to get rid of. I didn't think this through. He's got a beard. 
I, I don't like to waste things. This is all like super cool colors. Ooh, ooh, all this. I've got a plan. I got a rock here. I'm gonna try to pour this on the rock. Next, let's try, I'm gonna put this here. And I feel like, do you just stick it on there? One of these things? Do you just stick it on there and then lift it up? Once you, I should have researched this sucker. This is what you call experimenting without any no knowledge. Now, what do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Do I just let it do its thing? Do I pick it up? I'm afraid. If I pick it up, what's going to happen? Oh, that's so... <sighs> Maybe I'm not using enough of the medium. Is it supposed to, like, totally pour? gonna do this <laughs> nope 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 well it's not I like what's happening here that's super cool okay guys you guys tell me What's my, what am I doing wrong here? Obviously this is not, but it's so gloppy. So I'm doing something obviously wrong. Is it too thick? That's fun. What if I do? Oh no. Oh no, that is, that is just muddy. Oh, though it's doing something really cool. Experiment, experiment. Let's put a blob of pink there and then see what happens if I do this. Oh no, nope. Just muddy, just muddy. We're just gonna put him aside. We still have colors in here. Oh, let's go with, let's do the fairy. Let's do our fairy with the beard. So I feel like this is a project you can do with the whole family. Um, this, I think, is pretty fun. You might wanna do it outside if you got little ones. All right, guys, so I went and mixed some more colors. I added more of the pouring medium because I think it just was too thick. If you know, let me know in the comments if, because I have not done any research other than watch pouring paint. And I definitely need to figure out how to work with these uh, sink, sink traps, whatever they're called. These, But we're going to experiment. I think getting these little plaster things was the best idea because these guys were so fun and it turns out so cool. So you really need to get like the little edges of it first, like the underneath parts. That's my suggestion. What do I, what do I know? I don't really know what I'm doing, but this is super fun. The wasting the paint kind of drives me a little nuts because I don't like to waste things. Okay, what else can I paint pour on? I, want, I really want to try these other things, but I don't think I know what I'm doing. Oh, look at this guy. Look at the stripes on him. But what? Should I go for one more and just see what happens? I've got this whole paintbrush. Should we just see what happens? 
What do you think? I should have done research, but I didn't want to because I wanted to come in and just try to figure it out. I don't feel like this would be the right thing for this type of thing. I feel like that has to be a flat surface. All right, let's, let's, let's go for the paintbrush, but let's just do it like this. We're just going to do the paintbrush. This is just an old junky paintbrush. I know there's only going to be one side, but maybe we'll just hang it up. Let's try this like, <gasps> ooh. Look at that. That is cool. All right, acrylic pouring is super fun. Just do your research first. <laughs> Unless you want to just go for it like me. If you're gonna just pour over some figures, go for it. These little tools, I'm gonna do some research before I attempt those again. But just for like really easy, mindless fun, um, this acrylic pouring is fantastic over like random objects. All right, guys, we have one more to do. I'm gonna do this little fairy door, door with just the paints I have left. And then I'm gonna let everything dry and we'll come back and see how everything turns out. I'll probably wait overnight just so it's not like tacky. All right, we'll see you soon. Hey guys, we're back about two days later. I let everything dry. I'm gonna show you how everything turned out and Let's check it out. Let's start with the first one I made. Here's this unicorn guy. Look, I really like how, even though it kind of looked kind of gloppy, all the little details of the figure show up. Look. Then I did this rainbow guy. Isn't that neat? This is so fun. All right, there's that one. It does, like, get a little thick, gloppy on the bottom. See how it kind of gets... But I think you could trim that stuff off. If I peel, is the whole thing gonna come peeled off? Let's see what happens. Let's just do it for experimental purposes. It would, you could totally peel it off. So you wanna seal these things. Here's my little fairy with the beard. She's got a little beard there, can you see? She turned out really cool. This guy, I did off camera. Ooh, I don't wanna mess him up. Oh, I kinda missed him. I missed him at the bottom, that's all right. Look at that. He's really fun. So make sure you get these pieces before, like you do the do the underneath part first. But that's all right, this is the first try. So we're good. Cute, and again, all the little details show up once the paint's dry, look at that. So fun. Let's check out this paintbrush next. This is the back. I'm not gonna show that part, but look at that. That is super cool. And I wonder if you could like pour it down this way too. Oh, I might have to try that. Like pour the paint this way on the bristles. Because if you're not using it, why does it matter? Just for design purposes. That's fun. Ignore the little imperfections. Because that's going to be like displayed. Might just like hang it like that. This is, this is what I did on canvas, just with that same paint I used on the little unicorn. See, it's really cool. All right, and this is the last little guy we did off camera. Here's a little fairy door we did off camera. Again, oh, <laughs> I, totally I didn't even know. It was because it was facing the other direction. It was probably like near another thing. But right there, it looks cool. I could always paint, again, paint pour over the top. Which one is your favorite? I think my favorite's the paintbrush. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try to do the strainer technique again with of course some research before I attempt that. I'd love to try this again and I think this was such a fun activity. I think I'm gonna have to do it with my kids because they would have a blast. And get yourself some of these little figurines. Oh my goodness, you probably can find them anywhere. 
what a great little project. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.